I often say that in the 13 years that I've spent at Claris Horizons, I think really one of the most valuable things that I've been able to contribute to Claris Horizons is that I brought Club Thumb in as a close collaborator. There's a strong history of, of writers um, who have come through our fellowship program, our literary fellowship program at Players Horizons, and have gone on to have a life at Club Thumb, including Jerry Lieblick, Sarah DeLapp, um, Max Posner, May Truhoft Ali, Kim Golding, uh, Milo Kramer. Another previous Playwrights Horizons uh, literary fellow uh, brought in a play to our early career writers group and it was all like about young girls and we were like oh you know this like we're surrounded by all these young girls we should like do a little workshop and maybe, maybe convince the head of the school to do a play and that was the wolves and that's how that was launched into the world. Playwrights Horizons is a place that also makes new plays so why shouldn't um, students at their theater school be people who have a, a hands-on experience of making new plays, which is what we do. I see Club Thumb and Playwrights Horizon as theaters that champion rule-breaking in voice, that are writer-centric and above all generous to their playwrights. Michael and Maria really cultivated this culture of intimacy in the group, but I was so, so happy to have our group to show the first act of this play that I've been writing for a long time. I think to bring it to a group with like these brains and eyes and ears that I trusted is the reason I'm still working on the play. The act of putting something together that's never been made before. Um, and that sort of collective reach for a thing that has never existed before and trying to get on the same page and make it at the same time is like, it's sort of, it's a very exhilarating philosophical uh, journey. <laughs>